Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. And if you find this video helpful, please remember to give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video. Differentiable just means that the derivative exists. How do we know if it exists? Well, it's a limit. So if the limit exists, then the derivative exists. And it doesn't matter if you use the limit of the difference quotient or if you use that alternative version of the derivative formula. Either way, if the limit exists, then we know that the function is said to be differentiable. So we're going to explore what would make the derivative not exist a little bit. So for example, here we have the instructions Determine if f is differentiable at the point x equals zero. If possible, find f prime of x and evaluate it at zero to get f prime of zero. Remember, to be differentiable at x equals zero means that f prime at zero exists. So let's look at this function, f of x equals x to the two thirds power. This is an interesting looking function. You see how it comes to a sharp point at zero? Well, let's see what happens when we actually find the derivative. Now it says to find f prime of x. That means taking the limit of the difference quotient with the x left in it, if possible. So let's see if it's possible. F prime of X equals, and I'm going to write down the definition of the limit as H goes to zero, F of X plus H minus F of X divided by H. So this would be equal to the limit as H goes to zero of, we're going to have X plus H to the two thirds power minus X to the two thirds power divided by H. And I'm going to say, uh oh, I'm stuck because those are cubed roots. Multiplying by a conjugate is not going to help with that. The algebra is pretty nasty. Okay, so I'm kind of stuck. Okay, and that's why it says to do this if possible. But if it's not possible, sometimes it's still possible to work out the derivative at that particular point. We might not be able to come up with a formula for the derivative of, at every point very easily, but let's just try to find the derivative at that particular point. So that would be the limit as h goes to zero of f of zero plus h minus f of zero divided by h. So this is going to be the limit as h goes to zero of h to the two thirds minus zero to the two thirds divided by h. All right, well, that's the limit as h goes to zero of one over h to the one third, or you could think of it as one over the cube root of h either way. What is that limit equal to? Well, by the limit laws, if this limit exists, it should be the same as the cubed root of the limit of one over h, if it exists. But what's the limit as h goes to zero of one over h? It does not exist, that's right. The derivative is representing slopes. We have a parabola that's facing like this, right? We got a horizontal tangent line here. What if we had a parabola that was facing this way? Then the tangent line to the parabola would be vertical, yes? And doesn't this kind of look like a half of a parabola there? Okay, so what's happening is, is we're getting a vertical tangent line there. And this often happens when we have a sharp point like that. That's one of the problems that, that arises when you're trying to find derivatives and there's a sharp point on your graph. So what we would say is that this function f of x is not differentiable at zero. All that that means is the derivative does not exist. In general, when there is a sharp point on a graph, either because of a vertical tangent line or another reason that I'm going to explain momentarily, the function will not be differential. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. That will help other students to find the video.